गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर कल्पना शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर बच्चों मेरे लास्ट लेक्चर में आप लोगों को मैंने क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड बेस्ड ऑन रूट ऑफ एंट्री के आधार पर क्लासीफिकेशन बताया था आज के लेक्चर में मैं आप लोगों को इंसेक्टिसाइड के क्लासीफिकेशन जो कि मोड ऑफ एक्शन पर आधारित है उसके बारे में चर्चा करने जा रही हूँ सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड बेस्ड ऑन मोड ऑफ एक्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मोड ऑफ एक्शन ऑन द इंसेक्ट इंसेक्टिसाइड आर क्लासिफाइड एज नंबर वन फिजिकल पॉइजन नंबर टू प्रोटोप्लाज्मिक पॉइजन नंबर थ्री रेस्पिरेटरी पॉइजन नंबर फोर नर्व पॉइजन एंड नंबर फाइव पॉइजन ऑफ जनरल नेचर हम एक एक करके एक एक को देखते हैं पहले हम देखेंगे फिजिकल पॉइजन सम इंसेक्टिसाइड किल्स द इंसेक्ट बाय देयर फिजिकल एक्शंस एंड नो डायरेक्ट केमिकल और बायोकेमिकल इफेक्ट इज कॉस्ड they are seldom used as such but are sometimes incorporated in the formulations physical effects that these insecticides exerts are asphyxiation and mechanical injury first of all we'll see what is this asphyxiation natural oils such as petroleum or their emulsions when applied on insects block the respiratory tract by closing the spiracle or passage of air such as on scale insects where it closes the breathing pores also the eggs of insects are killed by its application as it closes the micropyle of the egg through which they respire because unless the oil is highly refined it has phytotoxic effects and can only be used during dormant stage of the plant particularly trees mechanical injury dust of aluminum oxide causes abrasion of the cuticle leading to desiccation of the insect to death boric acid in addition to being a stomach poison acts as the abrasive dust in killing insects second is the protoplasmic poisons most of the inorganic insecticides like nitrophenols mineral oils formaldehydes are protoplasmic insecticides when these insecticides are ingested they cause precipitation of the cellular protein in the midgut epithelium leading to death third is the respiratory poison aise poison jo respiratory system ko arrest kar dete hain most of the fumigants like scn h2s and carbon monoxide that along with air enter the respiratory system and interfere with the cellular respiration by inhibiting the respiratory enzymes and killing the insect number 4 is the nerve poison most of the conventional insecticides act as nerve poisons these affect the nervous system mostly as narcotic axonic poisons or synaptic poisons these are of three types narcotics axonic poisons and third is the synaptic poisons first of all we'll see the narcotics many fumigants particularly those containing chlorine bromine and fluoride are narcotics introducing unconsciousness in insects these narcotics are fat soluble and stored in fatty tissue including nerve sheath and lipoproteins next is the axonic poisons the axonic poisons act 
primarily by interrupting normal exonic transmission of the nerve system. The exon of the nerve is an elongated extension of the cell body that transmits nerve impulse to other cells. These impulses are electrical and arise from the flow of sodium and potassium ions through the cell membrane creating a wave-like action potential that is an impulse. Subsequently, the action potential is followed by a resting potential. All the chlorinated hydrocarbons and pyrethroids are believed to disrupt normal transmission along the axon. Cyclodynes and pyrethroids are believed to induce changes in axonic membrane permeability causing repetitive discharge. Such discharge result in convulsions, paralysis and death. The next one is the synaptic poisons. The nerve poison essentially interfere with the function of the enzyme acetylcholine esterase due to which the acetylcholine synthesized in the synaptic gap of neurons during conduct of impulse is not hydrolyzed into acetic acid and choline. As a result, nerve continues to transmit the impulse and also produces several coative substances that are toxic to the insects and hinders the normal nerve conduction causing tremor, convulsions, paralysis and finally death to the insect. Most of the modern synthetic organic insecticide like organophosphates, carbamides are of this category. Few nerve poisons such as DDT has different mode of action. It does not inhibit acetylcholine esterase but causes nervous excitation leading to exhaustion and death of the treated insect. Pyrethrins and nicotines are also nerve poisons. Nicotine and nicotine sulfate poison by mimicking acetylcholine at the synapse. The receptor cannot be distinguished between acetylcholine and nicotine. This result in symptoms similar to the inhibition of acetylcholine esterase. Fifth is the poison of general nature. In case of certain insecticides, either their mode of action or the sequence of actions are not properly known. Eldrin, chloroeldrin, toxaphene induces delayed neurotoxic effects. Rotinone, rhinia, sabadilla and phenothiazine produces muscular depression. In case of excitable membrane of muscle which result in a threefold increase in oxygen consumption followed by flaccid paralysis and death. Thank you.